guys, and I know it seems like I've been doing a lot of haul videos lately, but I promise this probably is going to be the last one until I get my Bath and Body Works stuff in the mail. I don't know when that's coming up, and I'm sorry I've been posting a lot, and you guys are probably like, where's Jordo? Because it's called Sabrina and Jordo Beauty. Well, Jordo doesn't have a camera, so she kind of has problems filming videos. She's an iPhone, but that's pretty much it. But we're trying to f sort that out, and we're probably going to get somehow sorting that out. So we just got to figure that out. I have some videos coming towards your way soon because you're like, all you guys do is hauls. It's not just hauls. I have an outfit of the week video coming up soon. I have a review on the new Maybelline The Rockets mascara coming soon. And I have, I'm just going to do some styling videos and those are going to be up soon. So maybe some perfume collection videos. I don't know. Eventually, we're, g I'm just, we're just going to get to more of them and eventually we're going to have a wide range of stuff. So, I'm just going to start. I went shopping yesterday, but a lot of stuff. Well, not really. It's kind of not really a lot. It's kind of semi for me. So, I'm just going to start off with one of the things I got that I was really excited that I got. It's from Bath and Body Works, but it's not in this bag. It's the Forever Red Signature Collection Perfume. Oh my god, if you've never smelled this before, go smell it. They're going to keep it. it. Originally, I think originally it was supposed to be like only a holiday edition, but now they have it all year round because it means so much money because it's really such a good smell. And this is actually the perfume, and it's 2.5 fluid ounces, which is very good, and you get for $44.50, so it's like $45. That's still pretty good for a perfume. And it has a description on the back, but I figured I'll just unbox it first. The box is so cute. Look, it's like a woman. It's like an elegant box. And it says forever feminine, forever confident, forever surprising. You should get it forever red. Open. This box is, this bottle is so adorable. It's not even funny. Like, look at this. It's forever red. It has like a little ribbon on it. It's so cute. I was kind of trying to come up with the word that I was like, what is that? A tassel? <laughs> it's not a tassel. But it's so pretty and the red color is so like luxurious and sophisticated. The cap is big, but come on. It's a bottle. A lot of caps are big on perfume. So that's what it looks like. And I'm not going to smell this one because I don't want to use it yet because I bought the miniature one when it was, it was like five bucks. And you're like, buy the miniature one. Test out our new signature fragrance in like October. So because they had the Halloween stuff out. Yeah. In like October this came out in November so and it smells so good it smells like vanilla and it's really rich and it smells like with tinges of fruit and once I read the description it literally smells almost exactly like how it smells besides the one thing which I don't even know how it's supposed to smell but I'm going to read the description it says forever red is our most luxurious fragrance ever the scent captivates with opaline notes of fiery red pomegranate and delicate peach day vang. I can't pronounce that word. You have to look it up yourself. A rare and fleeting French peach. Just look up rare French peach and see what comes up because I don't notice it. So, soft petals of red peony give way to notes of addictive velvety marshmallow and a surprising finale of rich vanilla rum that leaves an unforgettable impression. This literally does, and it lasts kind of, it kind of, the lasting power is like medium for perfume. It lasts for about like, I'd just say like six hours, six, eight, six, eight. You don't need a perfume lasting 12 hours, okay? Because craziness, like I have perfume that lasts that long and I'm like, ugh, perfume lasts you too long and then you kind of get, but perfume smells so good. I love perfume with all my heart. So this is a Forever Red and it's, it's such a great thing. I really suggest buying it. If you like smells like this, like more luxurious smells and like fruity kind of musky sales, smells because it's what it is. And it's a very wintry scent, which is probably why they were going to make it limited edition, but now it's not. Very wintry and like like a date night scent. That's why I like the whole thing's like red because red makes me think of date night. So that's that. I spent too long talking about that. But um... Then also from Bath and Body Works, I got a candle. It was like four dollar candle. Even why is there gum wrap around that? But I got one of the one of those summer ones because it's winter. Winter. It's winter. But after Christmas, I like to think about summer, so I get 
the summer smelling candles. This one was away four dollars and it was a paradise daiquiri. It smells so good. It smells it smells like you're walking on a beach in California. It smells so good with like berries on it, but I don't know if there's berries in there. And it's and it says a raspberry twist on a classic pina colada made with dark rum and sweet orange, topped with coconut cream and warm vanilla. I don't smell the vanilla in here, surprisingly. I smell vanilla normally in everything. But I smell the raspberry and pina colada, which is really nice. I really like this. I think I might go back and get more candles, and I have stuff in the mail, but there's no candles in that. So I think I might go back and get more $4 candles, because I only can burn these, because when I get the big ones, it takes me like two years to burn. So, got that. And then I went to American Eagle, and all these places I went to were basically having a sale because, this, this, by the way, this is a collective item. I forgot to say that. So from American Eagle, I got just one thing, and it was if you buy something on clearance, you get 50% off. So I bought this tan, kind of beige colored shirt, and it was originally, it was $20 with price tag, but I got it for 10 so I thought that was a good deal. And it's just, it's really gorgeous. It has like a fake sequenced on Peter Pan collar. Well, it technically it is. It's not really a collar, but it's sequenced on collar. So, with like, which is really pretty. And at the bottom, it kind of cinches in at the waist, which is really, really cute. I tried this on. It looks adorable. And also, near the top, it has like little silky kind of um, accent detailing. So, I really like that. And oops, my bag just fell. But it's really adorable and I really love culture, which I don't know where exactly this. But okay, everyone else gets these pretty cute bags and then they gave me this sack and I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? I carry, I was carrying it around the mall like this and then eventually when I just got another bag, because this is the first store me and my friend went to, I just put this in the other bag because I was like carrying this sack around. I was like, why can't you give me the cute bag? But I guess not. So, thank you for not giving me a cute bag. You gave me this that thing like they just didn't want to give me a bag. So they don't really say all the other on clearance was buy one get one free. So I paid eight dollars for both of these things. So I'm just gonna get started. I bought two skirts. I bought this Kelly Green skirt that's like ruffle, like kind of ruffly. And it like sisters at the waist which is really cute and then it ties in the front. And this was only this was the one that was eight dollars so I got the other one free because it was a more of the two. The other one was seven originally, so it's really, really cute. And then I got this bodycon floral skirt, which is so adorable. Like honestly, it's so cute. It's navy blue with a bunch of floral patterns, which is adorable. Can't wait to wear these. I bought these for springtime because obviously I'm not gonna wear these during the winter unless I wear tights with them. It looks weird if you're wearing florals during like the the winter, I think. And then I went to Pacson. I promise, I know I have a huge bag, but it, I honestly did not buy that much. I bought one thing. Well, technically not. They were happy in their clearance sale, which was buy one, get one free. So, me and my friend, we, she wanted she wanted the other color of the shirt, the red one. And I was just, she really wanted it. She's like, it's 30 bucks, and I don't want to pay 30 bucks. And I was like, well, I'll just get the green one, and then we'll pay half and half. So we only both only paid 15 for these, which was a really good deal. So it's a heavy green flannel, and it has st silver studding on the shoulders, which is really, really cute. And I really like this. And it's a heavier flannel, so it's perfect for the winter time, and it's really cute. It's part of Paxlon's, like, Christmas collection. Then they have a red one that is gold studding on the pockets. But I think I kind of like this one better. I think I actually do, because it's just really cute. And it's just really nice, and I'm going to wear it probably the first day I go back to school, which is Monday, and I'm really depressed about that. But, yeah. And then I went to Kohl's. And they were having a sale that um, if you buy anything on clearance, it's 25% off the price on the tag. So I got two things from there. And I, I only paid, ended up paying $14 for both of these things, so I was proud. So I both I got two peplum tops. This one's an L by L top, and it's a black top with, 
with floral patterns on it. I wore this mask in a week video and I know I just said that florals look weird during the winter, but it, I don't know, I just felt like wearing it because it was new. But, <laughs> so, and it just goes out because it's a peplum top and it's really, really cute. And it's good for spring, but I don't care, I wore it during the winter. I didn't go to school, no one saw me. Like, someone did, my friend came over, but, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and then... I got this lace peplum top that's like a blush pink, and it has like gold accents sewn in on it, which is really, really cute. And then it just goes out, and it's kind of a little high-low, but not too much, and it's really, really adorable. And it, and then you turn it around, and it has an opening back, which is so cute. I love things with open backs. I just think they're adorable. So I got that. And then I got... One thing you Forever 21, I do not have the bag, which is really depressing, but I, because I redid my closet door, and I cut out the bag to put the name of the store on the bag, on the door, so, you know, it's just a black top, it's a black cold shoulder top, it's really cute, I don't have a basic one like this, and I have a lot of things I could pair with it, and in the back, you turn it around, and it has strings on it, so you could tie it in the back and it's an open back and it looked really cute. So I got this for only like $3 so I thought that was a good deal because I got it when they were having their 50% off and it's on clearance and this is on clearance. It's adorable and it's a little high-low. I think, yeah, a little bit but not too much. A lot of things now are high-low so because it's like the trend. And I got one thing that is not even beauty related at all. Beauty, fashion, or anything even close to that related. It's a movie. And it's from Target. I got this movie on sale, and I was really excited it was on sale. I ordered it offline, but I found a Target bag in my house, so I just figured, get the bag. So, I've been wanting this movie for a while. I thought I was going to get it for Christmas, but I didn't. So I spent my Christmas money on it, and I got, it's The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm obsessed with superhero movies, so it kind of makes sense. I got this, and I got it, and I was really excited about it. So, the last thing I got, and I've already watched it twice, because I've had it for, like, four days. So, yeah, and that's Jordan right now. So, see you guys. Bye.